we think the chart to watch when looking at sterling dollar is the monthly chart. And the key takeaway here is that over the past several years, the market hasn't been happy on dips below 120. We have seen those dips below back in 2016 and again in 2020. But 120 has been an area the market hasn't been happy below for any meaningful period of time. And it looks like we could be forming a longer term bottom by these cyclical lows. If we see any setbacks, we believe they should be supported in the 120 area for that next major upside extension, eventually back towards and through the 2018 high up in the 143 area.